And we're back at the Chazak Telethon. And remember, givechazak.com. That's where you have to go right now and make your pledge. Because this pledge is going to make a difference for so many young men. And so with us, and women actually, right? Yeah. It's young men and women. You can't just say young men. You've got to say young men and women. All right. So um, joining us is um, Rabbi Moshe Sokolov. Right? Yes. So uh, Rabbi Moshe Sokolov is the rabbi of the congregation, which is right here. So um, tell me your connection to Chazak. I got to see Chazak firsthand. He's one of the members in our show, Shapsi, who's very involved in Chazak. And he brought me in. And I got to take a tour of Chazak headquarters. And I couldn't get over it. It's unbelievable what's going on there. And I said, and I put it on a video clip. I said, this is what Rabbi Avinu's house looked like. If you ever wonder when you study Chumash, that's what Rabbi Avinu's house looked like. Round the clock chesed, helping, trying to make a difference in the Jewish life. It's unbelievable. That's amazing. So tell, tell me what you saw. Specifically, saw what did people, you see when you walked into Chazak? I, I, I saw people who love doing what they're doing, and they're not working. What they're, are they doing? They're helping save Jewish lives. How? By making phone calls on the computer, working, crunching numbers, making connections, whatever they can do. And not because they're getting paid, because they love it. Because they care about every single Jewish person. It blew my mind. I was talking about it for days afterwards. I was so inspired. Is there anybody that you know um, who made their way to Chazak? Um, maybe was in a public school before or somewhere else and walking through the doors of Chazak that you have followed or you know about their I progress. see, my wife works in the public school. So yes. I see what it's like for a kid to be in the public school. Okay, so what is it? That's great. It's that's, so that's scary. Great. My wife tells me she sees these kids. They don't mean to. They want to do the right thing, but it's so hard. It's such right, a so, so a Jewish kid, he comes in the morning, he, he goes into class, with all these other kids. Mm -hmm. He's a Jewish kid, you know. Maybe his parents practice, uh, you know, um, they go to, on Yom Kippur, they go to, to shul, and maybe uh, they do something for Pesach. Right. Um, and he, he feels that there's something Jewish, you know, and on, on, on Christmas, he doesn't have a Christmas tree at home. Right. You know, he goes to the Chinese. Uh, <laughs> so, but then he walks in and he sees all these kids. Right? Your wife is in school and she sees. What does she see? What happens? She happens sees accidentally they'll eat things that are not kosher. And they'll do things and they have no idea what they're doing. They're not connected to Judaism. And then you see what Chazak is doing. And they're saving future generations. It's the most important work we can be doing right now. Right before the Yom Tov of Shul is when it's all about the Torah. These people don't see it. we got to bring it to them. Show them what they're missing. And they want it. They, want it. they just don't know about it. It's the best kept secret for them. we got to hit every single Jew that we can and make a difference. And all it is is money. I mean, Gladstein said so beautifully last night, in the Holocaust, we couldn't save them with money. But today, we can save them with money. Right. Let's use our money wisely and save every possible neshama. And Chazak wants to. They just need our help. Right. I came here to give a check. That's why I came tonight. To give a donation on my behalf, my money, so I can help Chazak continue right. doing their great work. Right. That, that's very interesting that you said that about, about the Holocaust with money because um, th there is there's a, um, a very famous... Um, I mean, also Oscar Schindler, obviously, but there's mm -hmm. also others who basically bought Jews right. with money. And they were, even during the Holocaust, they were able to save Jews with money. And today, it's, it's not just saving the physical, it's, it's, it's saving something that's eternal, saving the neshama forever. And, and we can do which it. Is, which is so much more important than, you know, obviously you have to save a Jewish life, but, you know, when you're able to save also the neshama, the soul, is and it's so important and it's so important that's what comes down to money that's so it. that's what comes down to that's money it. guys that's what we need this is what we're talking about it's all about money show me the money that means you can make a difference not only you know when you make a difference in a kid's life okay that kid grows grows up we had we had uh, one of the rabbis here in Chazak and he said something incredible he said he said it's not just about this kid this kid gets married and he has that's kids right. and you save you save an entire generation down the line. You save thousands, thousands of all. You save one, you save thousands. And this is what this money is about. It's the biggest investment you can ever make. This is what we can do. If we want Mashiach to come, we got to make sure all those neshamas are back. That's what Hashem wants. This is what we can do. It's our job, it's our duty, it's our responsibility. Let's help Chazak do the great work that they're doing. Let's make it a little easier for them. Let's give them the resources they need so they can do the great work that only they can do. Thank you so much, Rabbi Thank Sokolov. You. Thank you for all coming by. Thank you. And once again, guys, remember, how do you donate? What do you, do, what do you need to do? Very simple. Go on your phone. Givechazak.com. Oh, Click that you. donate button. And make a pledge.
that's going to last a lifetime, not just in this world, but in the next as well.